Jack, I know you, you've wanted to speak today yeah. to us. What's the reason for that? Uh, obviously, I wanted to do an interview today because obviously there was a few comments made to me um, on Saturday from fans and, and people obviously in the crowd. And obviously, I think everyone forgets. Obviously, we've all got social media and we all see it, what gets said and, and that. And obviously, we get it, fans are frustrated, but I think all we'd ever ask as players is not to take out on us on the pitch. You know, We all go out there and try and give 100% every week for everyone, um, not just ourselves, our families, the club, the chairman, the manager, whoever that is. And uh, and I think uh, Saturday it just felt a bit a bit like, as players, I think we just didn't feel like we were trying, even though we were. Um, and I think all we ever ask is for them to stick behind us because, I mean, the first half, obviously, the, the Clayton and want singing. Um, you know, I don't know whoever made that decision needs to give their head a bit of a wobble, I think. But we need to, uh, we all need to stick together at the moment in time. You know, I get it, emotions are high from everyone at the club. But um, the people that need to stick by at this moment in time is us players and obviously at the moment John Doolan. Yeah, um, clearly emotions are high after, yeah. after John and Jimmy leaving the football mm -hmm. club. Um, how much has, has all that affected you guys as, as players? Uh, I'm, I mean, massively. I've got the utmost respect for John and Jimmy. I always have. You know, they gave me a massive opportunity coming here to play and, um, you know, their departure has, has hurt us all. Um, I think, you know, um, whether you think it's right or wrong, whatever, you know, that's that's a decision that's been made. And now our job as, as players is to get behind John Doolan um, and give him our most like we did for them. Um, I just felt Saturday was a bit of a, a flat atmosphere for when we walked out. Um, didn't really feel like no one was behind us. Um, and I think maybe that had an effect in the first half with the way the first half went. I'm not disputing that we were 3-0 down, not disputing that, but... The second half, we were much better because obviously everyone was behind us and the Clayton M was singing and uh, and that's why obviously when I walked off and I had some of that abuse, it was a bit like I, I didn't go and clap the Clayton end because I just thought why why should I sort of thing, but um, which I've never ever done or never ever thought of, but um, but yeah, hopefully now we can go to Swindon on Tuesday and do well there and then come back here in Notts County hopefully with a different a different and more positive atmosphere. Yeah, I, I suppose when when a manager Material change is made. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's not a surprise. Sometimes it is. It's part and parcel of football. But with what happened here and, and John and Jimmy's um, relationship and um, history with the football club, it's different, isn't it? Yeah, you know they've done absolutely wonderful for the club. You know, I spoke to Jimmy the other day on, after the game Saturday, actually, and uh, you know he's, he's he's devastated. But and it will be. But it happens in football. There is always changes and. You know, I think as players you have to move on quickly anyway. You know what you want to impress John Doolan now, the new manager and and keep trying to play games under him now. And um, you know, and I get it from a fan's point of view as well. Obviously they've been here for a long, long time, but uh I think we just felt as players on Saturday that it was a little bit negative, maybe towards us as well, but you know, it's not our job is to play football matches and to try and win football matches and obviously we need to try and turn that around. Um but when we're playing at home with the fans getting behind us, it definitely helps. Um, so, yeah, that's all I'd say, really. It, it's, it's a hard one, isn't it? Because w with social media, um, I think it, it's possible a lot of people don't... You're human beings at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. got emotions like everybody else, natural reactions to certain things. Yeah. It, the effect of it, obviously, can, can run deep and run for a long time. Yeah, definitely. You, you know, I think, I think a lot of... Sometimes I think people think forget, sorry, that we have social media, we can see what, what people say. And obviously in football, yeah, you do have to be thick-skinned and, and take it on the chin. But I think sometimes you don't expect it from from your own sort of thing. And, uh, you know, it's like Saturday, I'm, I'm getting phone calls saying from my family back down south, oh, have you seen what's going on? Have you seen this or whatever? And I'm just like, I'm aware of it. But, um, you know, it does put you in a bit of a mood for the weekend and ruins your weekend with your family. But, um, but it's, it's what comes with football, unfortunately. You know, I've had it a lot of times off opposition fans and that but um but Saturday it just cut deep a bit where it was like my own fans sort of thing so but it is what it is you know I'm I'm a strong kid I'll go again you know I'll give my all on Tuesday like I have done for all season not just for myself and my family but for the club and for my teammates and the manager so so yeah credit to you Jack for mm. for, for for standing up you're only 22 but you're yeah. one of the senior players you've been one of the most important members yeah. of this squad one of the best players in the team um, your teammates will look at this and 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 really be, be proud of you, won't they? Yeah, well, I wanted to take it on myself to just to mm. just say it because obviously it was, a lot of it was directed at me. I felt anyway, um, because I think when you're on the pitch, you do hear things in the crowd, you know, and, and I get it. You know, everyone's emotional, regardless of what's happened. But um, 
But I just felt like, obviously, looking at the squad Saturday, you know, apart from probably Tommy and Sean Worley, I was probably the oldest player. So, mm. um, you know, there's a lot of young players, good young players coming through this club. And, and I think sometimes with the atmosphere that was in the first half on Saturday, you know, I don't think they deserve that either. You know, you've got young lads making their debuts and and coming into the side, you know, wanting to do well. And it just puts a bit of a flat atmosphere on, on that as well, which is a massive achievement for them as well. So, uh, so yeah. It must be quite mad at 22 having to sort of step up and, and look after those players. They've got to learn hard and learn fast, haven't they, the, the, the young players, um, in terms of coming into the Football League and, mm -hmm. and playing football regularly. Uh, it's good for them. It'll it'll put them in good stead, but yeah. it, it's about baptism and fire. If, if yeah, like. it is. It's you know even I'm learning now. You know I know we've not won for a few games and and the season sort of changed now. Um, you know, but it's a massive learning curve for myself for the young lads coming in. You know, and it's a great opportunity for them as well. You know, like John Doolan's always said, like if you're good enough, you play, and he, he believes in the youth. You know, I know the club are, are looking at youth going forward. Um, you know, which is great, you know, and it should excite fans and excite people going forward. You know, the, these young lads are assets to the club, you know, and um, them playing games regularly now. You know, I've, I've used it a couple of times in my interviews before with Conor O'Brien, you know, looks like he's played 100 games for the club, you know, and he's only played 20, say, if that. So, you know, the future is definitely bright at the club, and I think um, with the change that's happened, I think it doesn't stop anything the club, what John and Jimmy with the board were trying to build at the club sort of thing, so, uh, so yeah. What's John Doolan been like? How's he adapted to, to moving into that front-line role? Yeah, John, well, to be fair, John Doolan, obviously, he's been here ever since I've been at the club and he's been here with John and Jimmy, but he's sort of been in the in the shadow, if you like, kept himself to himself and, uh, you know, he's a great football man and a great person deep down as well and after the game Saturday with the result, he just said, I'm proud of every single one of you for the second half performance you put in. Um, you know, and, and he gives us the opportunity to go and express ourselves, which we've had anyway. But it's tactically, it's not much has changed because obviously where he was with, with John and Jimmy. But um, you know, I'm really excited to to work under him to the end of the season and see what happens then. Um, but yeah, and just as players, we're we're going to give him our all as we would do anyone. Um, you're off to Swindon, curiously, in another team with yeah. an interim manager in charge. <coughs> yeah. What does a good end to the season look like for, for Accrington Stanley after? The, the four successive defeats. I guess it's yeah. just a case of getting back on the. On well, the and, that, and that's the aim, you know. I think you know every game we go into, we we go in to try and win. Um, you know, that's that's a given. But um, you know, every a lot can change in ninety minutes, and I think it's in the, between now and the end of the season. I think we've got nine or ten games left, or something like that. So, you know, just just keep our heads down um, and just see where we can go and see where that takes us. You know, um, you know, as players, obviously we want to win every game, like I've said, but. It's building on, like I said, with the younger lads coming in. You know, hopefully a few injuries are going to come back as well. So, um, so we just got to knuckle down now and 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 give ourselves and the fans a a higher end to the season now. Hopefully.